Today marks International Overdose Awareness Day. Local groups in Rochester are pushing their mission forward to encourage harm reduction and build on supports for those who are struggling with substance abuse. Natalie Kuchko joins us now with more. Natalie? So far this year, Adam, potential overdose deaths in Monroe County alone have more than doubled compared to this time last year. That's according to the county's public dashboard. Advocates in our community are calling for policy change and better education methods. Lori Drescher lost her son Jonathan to a fatal overdose in 2021 due to fentanyl poisoning. Before then and after, she's made it her mission to help educate and support those in need. My son was a victim to it. He left rehab and he didn't leave with the supports that he needed. There are solutions if we can just reduce the stigma around those solutions and really think about saving lives. Overdose prevention sites save lives, period. They don't create, they're not mass addiction sites. They save lives. In light of National Overdose Awareness Day, community leaders and residents came together Thursday along Joseph Avenue, a Rochester neighborhood heavily affected by drug use, to support one another and make their message clear. I feel like the push this year is for policy changes. And what we need now is a framing of, well, what is the solution? What are some of the tangible steps we can take to stop uh, all of these unnecessary deaths? Every single overdose death is a policy failure. They bring a strong push for overdose prevention centers to Monroe County, something that to this point has not been approved. People like Drescher continue to advocate with the hopes of preventing more tragedies in the future. But I know that my purpose and my son's purpose continues to be to help folks who need our help. And there are a lot of folks that need our help. And the outreach work there does continue year round daily. We will have more details on the resources made av available by both of those groups that took part. That'll be on our website, rochesterfirst.com. Adam.